If you have switched motherboards in your computer build, but you did not reinstall Windows, then it is most likely that you're going to have a different Bluetooth device that you pair Bluetooth things to. In my case, it was my wireless keyboard. However, if you go to pair this keyboard again with your computer, it's not going to work because it's already been paired with a Bluetooth device in your Windows registry, and it just won't let you. There are a few different ways you can remove this. For me, none of them worked until the very last one, but for many of you, any number of these could work. So I'm going to show you all the different ways that you can remove Bluetooth devices from your Windows system in order to get your keyboard or controller or whatever paired with your new computer again. Windows, just Windows things. First and foremost, right click your Bluetooth icon in your system tray and go to show settings. You can see your Bluetooth devices here. If you click the drop down, you should be able to click remove device. This is my first failure. This is where it says it can't do that because it doesn't even have the Bluetooth dongle or card in your system anymore. It can't seem to figure out how to remove it when it doesn't have the device that it was actually paired with. Next, you can open up Device Manager by right-clicking the, the Windows button on your taskbar and going to Device Manager and then clicking anything and going to Actions and Devices and Printers. This opens up the old school Windows 7-like Devices and Printers menu. Here, you should be able to right-click these devices and choose Uninstall, possibly approving the UAC prompt here. This, again, may work for you where the Bluetooth menu did not. But again, for me, this was a failure. If it fails here, do not, do not close this window yet. Instead, right-click that Bluetooth device you're trying to remove, go to Properties, and on the Bluetooth tab, you'll see a device ID, a MAC address for that specific Bluetooth device. Keep that up, then right-click your Windows button again, go to Run, and type in Reg Edit for Registry Editor. Approve the UAC prompt when it opens, and we're going to go to H key local machine system, current control set services, BTH port for Bluetooth port, parameters, devices. And then there's a list of folders here which have the device IDs, the unique identifiers for your devices. And you can just delete that entire entry. Then you reboot your machine and you should be able to remove the device from any of the previous menus. This is what worked for me last time. This did not work for me this time. If it doesn't work for you this time, Go back to your device manager, so right-click your start button and go to device manager, and then expand the Bluetooth category. Go to view, show hidden devices. I would honestly start by just removing the hidden entry for your old Bluetooth device. So for me, that was that Intel Bluetooth dongle there. Just go ahead and remove that entirely, and it, rem it may remove those other already paired Bluetooth devices for you. If not, then you can go to each individual one in this list that you want to remove and remove them, and they should either let you remove them from the Bluetooth menu now or just already be gone from them. And then you can pair them with your new motherboard. Kind of ridiculous set of steps here, but Windows be like that sometimes. Check this video here in the end card to learn something new. Click here to visit my shop. And otherwise, remember to be kind. Rewind.